I'm back today with another thread crate box opening. This is February's box that I'm opening up today and the pattern is supposed to be for a bomber jacket. And again, I wanna express that this video is not sponsored by Threadcrate. I bought this with my own money and I'm just doing this for fun. And this is gonna be a two-part series where I unbox it here and then I make another video showing where I make the project that comes in the box. So this is how my box arrived. It is totally damaged. <laughs> and it looks like it even might have had water damage on it or something, and it looks like this side kind of exploded. And then UPS just totally put some tape on it, slapped it on there, called it good, and then sent it on its merry way to me. So I don't appreciate that. Thanks a lot, UPS. Just kidding. But that's no reflection on Threadcrate. That is purely UPS's fault. With that being said, let's dive in. I'm always afraid when I do that, I'm gonna cut my hair off. I should be more careful. Not like I really have to cut much on this. I feel like in the last one in January's box, I was like, oh, this is so like taped together so good and very practical or very well packaged. And uh, this one, thanks to UPS kind of smashing it, I feel like it's not as much, but okay, here we go. Before I open this all the way, I do want to reiterate that this got smashed and I think one of the sides exploded. So all the stuff in here may not be as pretty as it was in the first box I got. Okay, here we go. All right, so yes, this side definitely exploded. That immediately just fell down. So that's unfortunate. First thing that we see is that we have a cute little tote bag here. So it's like, it's a decent size. It's a cute little like, you know, put some stuff in it to tote around. And it says, maker's gonna make. So that's a cute little tote bag. Um, the next thing that we have, wow, I don't even know what to look at first. Okay, these are fabric swatch cards. Okay, a fabric swatch card. So it looks like I can kind of put a fabric swatch here and then document all the different details about it so that I can kind of keep track of fabric. So that's cool. And then fabric care instructions for the fabric that I have in here. That's good to know. And, and then this is the packing list of all the different things that are in the box. So we have fabric, thread spool saver, zippers, needle, sewing clips, handmade buttons, tape measuring mug. Oh, that's cool. Bobbin saver, maker's gonna make tote bag, which I already pulled out and some Guterman thread. And we had a whole conversation about Guterman thread. <laughs> I guess one-sided conversation in my last video. And then, then here we have the pattern. So this is the, the Ollie bomber jacket from Sew a Little Seam. And this time it looks like on the back page, I'm not gonna show it because it has redemption codes for people who uh, subscribe to the box. So I'm not gonna show it, but it looks like they gave some discount codes for PDF plotting so that you don't have to print and tape your patterns together. You can order it through PDF plotting or blueprinting and you can get your patterns that way so you don't have to tape them together. All right, so we got some zippers. Oh my gosh, how cute is that rainbow zipper? That's gonna be, that'll be awesome. Right down the, right down the jacket middle. So we got a rainbow zipper. Oh, and it looks like we have a normal zipper too. I wonder if that's for options or if you actually need both. Okay, and this is probably, this is a stabilizer and it looks like it's an iron on one. So that's gonna be very helpful assembling a bomber jacket. And here we have the bobbin saver. So this is kind of cool. It's like a little disc that'll hold all your little bobbins so that you can kind of keep them a little bit more organized and kind of always know where they are. I think that's a pretty fun one. I'm excited about this one because I've been keeping all of my bobbins in a little box. They kind of just get tangled up all the time. So this will be really useful for keeping them organized and helping them to not get so tangled up. Okay, so this is, I'll get to that one in a minute. That's got a lot of little things in it. This is gonna be my fabric. I say it's gonna be, it is my fabric. Okay. Okay, and it looks like I wanna say it's a Ponty, Pont? I'm not really sure how you say that. It's like Pont or Ponty. Um, but I will double check because last time I said that what the fabric was and it actually wasn't that, so. 
Okay, it is a ponte. It is a double knit fabric that is great for garments. So, perfect. So I was right this time. And I wasn't fully wrong last time. It was just a content thing. It was like more or less, it was a very similar fabric. But I, I do like the choice of the black fabric. I know some people may not be as excited about that, but I think it's nice. Okay, and then we have the tape measure mug. I'm gonna open this one up. Okay, I'm so excited because I've been wanting more mugs too. I feel like I keep saying that. It's like, I wanted more of this. I wanted more of that. I wanted this, I wanted that. And it's like, it keeps coming in my thread crate box. So that's kind of fun. Um, this is a cute little mug. It's got the measuring tape for the handle. And then it's just got like sewing pictures on it. So that's fun, that's cute. I hope it's not a hand wash only and it doesn't have a sticker on here. I don't buy cups or mugs or anything like that unless they say dishwasher safe because I hate washing things by hand. So I'm not really sure if this one's dishwasher safe because there's no note on it, but maybe I can ask in the Facebook group because they totally have one. All right, and then the little bag of odds and ends. So it looks like we have our machine needle in here. I'm guessing last time it had several needles in there. Yeah, so this is the sewing machine needle. I'm assuming it's a ballpoint again because Ponte is a, a knit fabric. Let me double check. Yes, it is a ballpoint needle. Perfect, so I'm not gonna shred my fabric. And then these are the handmade buttons. These are cute, okay, I gotta open this up. Okay. I think these are made out of wood. Those are so cute. So, so cute. Let me see if I can get this close enough to the camera for you to see. That is so, so cute. Okay, so those buttons are adorable. Um, I'm interested to see what, if those are gonna be used on the pockets or what, because I know the zipper, I'm pretty sure the zipper's for the front. And you know, maybe they're not for the jacket at all. Maybe they're just for funsies. And there is a cute little keychain and a scissors. That's fun. Okay, then we've got our thread with one of the thread savers wrapped around it. So that's pretty cool. That's how it's used. I like that they did that so that you can understand that that's what it's for. And it just keeps your thread from unraveling and stuff while it's just sitting on the spool. So that's cool. There's two of those in there. So I've got a green and a pink one. Okay, and then the last thing that we have is some sewing clips, which I prefer these to pins so, so much because they are just easier. You just clip them on real quick and you don't have to like wiggle your pin or anything like that. So I really appreciate these and I'm excited to have some more. And that is it for the thread crate box for February. That is all the goodies that came in it. Here's some additional thoughts for those of you who want the extra information. So someone had asked me in the last video also if I, what I thought about it, if I thought that the price was good for what I got. And I think I kind of have some mixed opinions about that because I think that it's really fun. It's like opening a present and it's like a surprise. You don't know what's in it. So I think that part is really cool about it. Now, do I need half of the items that come in this box? Probably not. So if you're trying to save money on sewing, this box is not really practical. If you're the type of person who has a hard time picking out a project and then picking out the fabric for that project, I think this crate is really beneficial for that type of person because they kind of do all of that legwork for you and then you just have it. You have as much fabric as you need. You have the pattern or you go redeem it and then you can just make it and you have all the notions that you're supposed to need for it and a couple extra goodies, which is always fun. I think there's pros and cons to getting it and not getting it. Like, I mean, you're gonna save money by not getting it, but if you do get it, it's just kind of like a fun surprise and it can be beneficial for those who need a little extra help along the way. Anyways, thanks for listening to my rambles about that and I hope that answers any other questions that any of you guys had that didn't ask in the comments or didn't read the comments. All right, thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate you and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.